Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a, um, damn, what was it called? <laughs> damn, what was it called again? Oh, a phasing, yeah, yes, 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 yes. A phasing tool, we'll call it, right? Yeah, so I'm just going to to make a phasing tool and stuff like that. Um, before we get into that, I just want to thank you guys for the support you guys have been showing in like the last week. Because honestly, it's been a long week for me personally, but y'all have been showing hella fucking support. We got like, I think this week alone, we got like five, six new people that joined the Discord. We got like two more people that joined the Roblox group. We got like, we went from like, I think the beginning of the week, we went from like 211 subscribers, and now we're at 221 subscribers. Like, no, like we gained a lot. Like, last night we was at like 219, but now we're at 221. So, I just want to say I really appreciate the support, guys. We're only halfway through October, yet we're we're pretty much on a steady path to get 300 by like I want to say like by mid November and stuff. Like, yeah, about about then and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, as always, the links to join my Roblox group and Discord server can be found in the description of the video. You can join up and stuff like that. But yeah, let's go straight into the video and stuff. Alright, so ignore the script that I have here. This is for something else I'm working on and stuff like that for you guys and stuff. It's for a later video and stuff. But yeah, you just ignore what's there. But anyway, okay. So first things first, of course, you're going to need a tool, right? Because it is a tool. You could call this your... um. Call this phase. I guess we'll call it phase. Yeah. Make sure you have required handle off. Unless your tool, unless your tool will have a handle, but for my video, it won't. So yeah, right. So you want to insert a local script, and you can call this phase script. And then don't do anything with that just yet. Well, you can delete print hello world, but that's just it. Okay. So the way you want this to work, right? You want the phase script to like you only or the phase tool, I should say. To only allow the player to phase through certain objects, right? You don't want them to be able to phase through everything. Because if they could phase through everything, then they could fall through the map and not have not be able to walk anywhere and stuff like that, right? So, what you want to do is you want to um, make it. You want to make certain parts, certain names, so that you put in the script. If part dot name is equal to da da da, then then it'll allow the player to walk through it and stuff, right? So for this video, I'm gonna have wall. Oh, let me do that. I'm gonna insert a block and just just scale it just a little like a, a basic wall, right? A little wall and stuff like that, right? Then I'm gonna name it, of course, wall. Make sure it's anchored, of course. And then we're gonna go over to the local script, right? So first things first, of course, we're gonna get the local player as always. It's like pretty much essential to be honest, in like almost every single local script. Local player equals game dot players dot local player. Then we'll do local. Mm, we'll say local disable yeah local disable then of course we'll set it to false since we want it to be enabled we'll say i'm gonna start okay then what you guys want to do with the first event do script dot parent dot we're gonna we're gonna use this by doing equipped and unequipped so while the tool is equipped the player is able to phase through objects and then when they unequip it they cannot so we're gonna do equipped connect function then we're gonna close parentheses, enter. Then we're gonna get the character by doing local character is equal to game dot workspace five first child player dot name enter twice. Then we're gonna do for i comma v in pairs character get children. Then do if v dot class name is equal to mesh part, which pretty much means when uh what's it called? When the for i loop does like it gets all the characters children and stuff like that, it's making sure to only get the children that that's name the class name matches mesh mesh part. And if you don't know pretty much that means your like your character parts like your head, your to uh well not toes, your feet, your leg, your torso, all of that all that's class falls under uh mesh part. So yeah. Then v dot touch this one autofill just let y'all know connect function then oh yeah but hit in parentheses then enter and stuff then what y'all want to do is if v dot well not v if hit dot name is equal to then here's where you would put it then obviously since all I have is just a regular wall, I'm gonna put wall. You could, if you, let's say like, let's say you all name everything. I don't know, maybe you name it like wall one and stuff like that. Like maybe you have like 
every single wall name a different thing. You could have wall, then wall two, you know, and then so on. It completely depends on you. But yeah, if it's a name equals wall, then you're gonna do hit dot can collide is equal to false. Remember, we're doing this locally, so this would only affect this player, allowing like the player who has the tool equipped to walk through it, not the entire server, pretty much, and stuff like that. One thing that we need to also add in is making sure that disabled is set to uh, that it that two two things actually. First, when a player equips it, we want to set disabled to true. We wanna, I mean, to false. Make sure disabled is false, since we're obviously able. We should be able to phase through buildings or in parts or whatever. When this is enabled, right? And then you're gonna go down here and this is if hit dot name equals wall. Then you'll put an and and disable is equal to false so that it knows so that it knows what's it called that not only um what's it called so that it knows that not only disabled is false but also what your player the part you're touching is a part that you should be able to face through but hold on one second guys All right, I'm back. Okay, so what's it called? So we already finished that. So now what we're gonna do is do the unequipped. So script dot parent dot unequipped connect function, and then we're gonna make sure when they unequip it, disabled is set to true, so that it's disabled. And then we're also going to set uh what's it called? We're also gonna make it so when they unequip it, the part is set back to uh what's it called? To um can't collide true. So we're going to do four IV and pairs, but instead of getting the characters children, we're going to get the workspaces children. Get children, then do if v.name. This this name should pretty much match the same thing as here. So if v.name is equal to wall, then v.can collide equals true. So we're setting it back, to, setting can collide back to true. So yeah. We can go ahead and test this. We click play. And then we load it in. Of course, can collide is enabled by default. So, of course, when I try to walk through it the first time, it will not work. I equip the tool. I can walk through so easily. Then, if I unequip it, I cannot walk through. I equip it, walk through. Unequip it, can't walk through. So, yeah, that's how you make a phasing tool to walk through certain parts and stuff based off of. Uh, whatever parts you want to be able to walk through and stuff like that. Um, I have like I have like two big videos coming soon. Uh, stuff like well, not soon, but coming. We'll say in like the next week or two. One is um, I guess I'll just tell you. Uh, one is uh, admin is admin like admin commands stuff like that like ban fly. Well, I don't know about fly, but some commands though. We'll, we'll say some commands. That's why it says admin script because I'm working on that. But we're figuring that out slowly, slowly by slowly. But anyway. Um, and then also, but probably what I'll drop before that is a custom leaderboard. And stuff, not using the Roblox default one soon. Stuff, but yeah, though. Once again, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support in the recent video and stuff like that. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe for more, join the Discord and Roblox group. Links can be found in the description. And yeah, uh, if you need help or anything, leave a comment down below or join the Discord. The scripts used in this video can be found in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys.